that this president didn't care less about the spread of this virus than to see what he did, vandalizing, by the way, uh, the White House by bringing all those people there, no mask, no distancing, and the rest. He slapped science right in the face. And what a bad example that was. And the president should be example. You know, real men wear masks. Be, be an example to the country uh, and wear the mask. Not only to, it's not about protecting yourself, it's about protecting others. Pelosi calling it a setup, saying the stylist told her it was legal. It was clearly a setup. I take responsibility for falling for a setup by a neighborhood salon that I've gone to for years. I just had my hair washed. I don't wear a mask when I'm washing my hair. Do you wear a mask when you're washing your hair? Yes. It is fair to criticize the House Speaker, who should have known better. But it's fair to criticize anyone who breaks the restrictions, guidelines, and just plain common sense we all should live by. Maybe she was listening to the president who said masks are weakness, who's always encouraging people to take off masks, who held his big speech about how to control the pandemic in front of a crowd that was largely without masks. Maybe Pelosi's falling under the influence. JB, good to see you, you handsome man. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did he just sexually harass John Berman? JB, good to see you. You handsome man. Oh my God, he just sexually harassed John Berman. Probably not the smartest thing to do when everyone's now heard you admitting that women are accusing you of misconduct. Back to Pelosi. Let me get this straight. The network that calls any criticism of their network or Democrats a conspiracy theory is now accepting Pelosi's actual conspiracy theory to explain away her blatant hypocrisy in not wearing a mask at a salon that she shouldn't have been in. The media now now wants us to believe that there's a conspiracy to expose Nancy Pelosi as a hypocrite for not following her own proselytizing. You may remember that the media did the exact same thing when Nancy Pelosi started spurging out during her interviews. Trump had tweeted out one of these interviews and the media went out and found another video, a completely separate video of Pelosi that had been slowed down to make her sound drunk. Long, took a little longer on the floor, the custody, custody of the border, the border. Everyone, he started making, sending signals, the U.S., Mexico, Canada, if that's not the accurate, some people call it AFTA NAFTA, some call it NAFTA 2.0, working together to, to uh, make, pass that, not, to, uh, if we, we're, we're the fat, we, there are three things, there are three things, there are three things, there are three things. This is jarring, a doctored video that attempts to make it look like Nancy Pelosi is slurring her speech. Crudely edited videos, doctored. It's, it's incredible, they're doctoring videos. Doctoring and the president videos. is sending around doctored videos. Again, a doctored video. Retweeting that doctored video. Peddling a doctored video. Tweeted out a doctored video, completely manufactured, falsely a doctor, 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 doctored video. video. They then conflated those two videos, accusing Trump of having tweeted out a doctored video of Pelosi, even though it wasn't doctored at all, and trying to imply that any video people see of Nancy Pelosi having what seems like little mini strokes when she's speaking are all edited video and not to trust them. So they were purposely confusing people in defense of Nancy Pelosi because they didn't want people thinking that Nancy Pelosi was starting to lose her mental faculties, which is the exact same thing that they do with Biden. But what do you notice? That they do the exact opposite with Trump. So clearly, the media feels it's their duty to carry water for this Democrat Party royalty. The fact that Cuomo and many others in the media are excusing this by pointing to Trump are unsurprisingly completely missing the point. It's Pelosi and her lapdogs in the media that are constantly lecturing about wearing masks and not angering the science gods. She even pointed out that people should wear a mask to protect others. Yet you can clearly see in that video that she's not wearing a mask, indoors no less. She excuses this by claiming that she only took the mask off when she was getting her hair washed. Asking, quote, do you wear one while getting your hair washed? 
Well, yes, Nancy. Yes, I do. Twice now, when I've gone to get my hair cut, I've had to wear a mask the entire time, including when I'm getting my hair washed. So I'm confused. Is there some science that shows you won't spread COVID if you're getting your hair washed? It's just more of this do as I say, not as I do behavior from the Democrats. Condescendingly lecturing about wearing masks and then they themselves getting caught not wearing masks. It happens over and over again. Chris Cuomo points to Trump events where not everyone is wearing a mask, yet you'll never see him or Pelosi condemning or lecturing left-wing extremists as they gather in large groups across the country. Where not everyone is wearing a mask, giving the impression that these rules for wearing masks is purely political in nature. The media and the Dems have only themselves to blame for people's distrust. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so by donating to one of the platforms listed in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.